It's Friday night and you know what that means. A jam-packed day of gridiron action all across the state. I've been tracking 32 different high school football games for you guys. So let's start here in Fargo with Davies hosting Bismarck High School. This one's starting off with a bang. Very opening kickoff with Davies back to return. Ray Brown back in his own territory to field this one. And look at the patience here. Brown weaving through a slew of tackles, finds an opening and takes off. A 97-yard kick return touchdown, putting, the, putting Davies up 6 to nothing early. Defense is taking over from there near the end of the first quarter. The Bismarck snap is bobbled. Caden Fisher looking for an opening, but he's taken down by Brennan Palmer and Oliver Lucked to force the Demons to punt. Moving into the second quarter now, the Eagles on another drive looking for a deep shot downfield, but this long ball is picked off. Tyrus Jangula making the diving interception as the Demons reclaim possession. The Eagles hanging on the rest of the way to secure the shutout, defeating the Demons 27 to nothing. More double-A action now. The top team in the East, Cheyenne Mustangs, heading out west to face Bismarck Legacy. First possession, Grant Workenthien rolls out and finds Caden Rahr, who cuts to the edge. He trots in safely, giving the Mustangs an early lead. It is six to nothing. In the second now, Cheyenne using the ground game again. A scrum at the goal line, but it's a Mustang who comes out of it. Josh Henricks using the strength there to get in. Two-point conversion is good. Cheyenne leads 14 to nothing. And they weren't done in the quarter yet either. Ball at the 40 for the Stangs. Connor Entz is going to break it to the far side. He runs into the sun and finds Pater for six. Another two point good. Cheyenne leading 22 to nothing at halftime. Cheyenne leaving this one with a 36 to 7 victory. The Mustangs now 5 and 0 on the season. Our other double-A teams facing off against single-A opponents. The West Fargo Packers invading Fargo South, leaving with a 42-3 win there. Meanwhile, at Fargo Shanley, the Deacons defeating the previously undefeated Jamestown Blue Jays. Now to some Class A action. The Wapton Huskies traveling west to square off with Bismarck St. Mary's. Just a few minutes to go in the first half. St. Mary's up three. They're going to make it 10 when Nick Schumacher calls his own number on the QB sneak. Saints take a 24-14 lead in the halftime. The Saints would stick to the ground game in the third, once again knocking on the door. This time it's fullback Will Langenfelder. He takes it in on the option and is in for another St. Mary's score. Next drive for the Huskies, they're trying to answer here. Blake Schaefer rolls to his right, but St. Mary's' is Landon Gerving steps in front of this pass. Saints take over with a short field, and then they capitalize. Isaac Vandal on the old-fashioned dive. 38-14 Saints at that point, and it wouldn't get any prettier for the Huskies. Saints winning this one at 51-20. And for the last couple single-A scores, Fargo North defending their home turf against Red River, winning that battle 42-8. And Devils Lake moving to a perfect 3-0 in conference play. They defeat Grand Forks Central in a 21-15 thriller. We got plenty more sports coming up after the break. Some more North Dakota action and check it in across the river as well.